So you made your pot. Now we're going to talk about how to take it off the wheel. I know you're excited to take your piece off the wheel, but let's leave it attached for now so we can use the wheel as a tool to help us clean it up so it's ready for the next step of trimming. First thing you want to do is check the rim for any signs of wobbling. So by that I'm talking about a difference in height vertically. So this one's fairly even. So this is something that I would want to treat the rim for. So there's high spots, low spots. So there's two different ways that you can uh, cut the wobble out of the rim. The reason why this is important, again, talking about setting yourself up for success, the next step we're going to be flipping this piece over after it dries to leather hard to remove excess clay from the base. And so in order to do that well, we need to have something even for the pot to sit on. So we'll have the wheel spin. And what I'm doing with my left hand is I'm not applying pressure, but I'm just resting my fingers on the surface. To I'm trying to feel for what height the clay still feels stable. So at this height, it's still really uneven. I'm losing some of the clay and I'm touching clay. And then down here, I still feel wobbles. So I'm going to drop down maybe a quarter inch or a half inch. So you will lose some height with this step, but you'll end up with a much more even pot later. I'm going to stabilize my tool against that thumb and then slowly insert this needle tool until it touches that inside finger. And when it cuts through, the piece that the little ribbon of clay will fly off. So that's one method of doing it. After you do so, you're going to want to compress that rim because it was pretty uh, square and rough at that point. So if you're trying to cut again and you don't have a needle tool, you can also take a wire tool, extend stabilizing with some fingers. You're going to drop down and then remove it up. So that's another way. Let's see that again. Spinning wheel, stabilize, drop down, remove. So then we will compress again just to get that rim considered and compressed. So next you want to look at the inside. So in there, there's a lot of water. There's, there's always going to be some throwing water that collects there because, you know, gravity works. So we'll take our sponge, we'll press it down in there to remove any excess water, and then we're going to compress the bottom. So we're going to run our fingers with a gentle pressure down from three o'clock in towards that midpoint. 3 o'clock in towards the midpoint. If your other fingers are getting in the way, bring them all together so they're helping each other stabilize. So next you want to address the outside of your piece. So right now we have some slurry on the outside, some moisture. So I'm going to take my metal rib, uh, not the wooden one right now just because my piece is curved. If I press the wooden one against it, it would uh, probably get rid of some of my curve. So with this tool you have to hold it nice and sturdy, four fingers on one side, thumb on the other and bend it. Um, you want it to match the contour of your piece. So we'll press it against the wall and we'll slowly run that up, doing a gentle, gentle pressure from the inside against that tool so that I can remove all the extra moisture. Okay. So now the rim is considered, the inside is considered, the outside is considered. Now we're going to deal with this bottom section. So there's quite a bit of clay down here. Uh, if you look at the inside shape that you have, it's a little bit of a curve. If you look at the outside shape, it's a little bit of Y. So what we're going to do here is we're going to rest our finger on the inside so we can feel how thick the wall is. And we're going to take the long edge. And again, there's multiple ways of doing this one too. So um, do what works for you and uh, do whatever your teacher tells you to do. Um, so for here, I'm going to take the long edge of my tool, have that face the pot. I'm going to feel for where it starts to get thick and I'm going to slice down until I touch metal. And I'll curve it in a little bit because I know I have a bottom to my piece. I know I can cut in a little bit stronger there. So now we have this little uh, saucer. I'm going to stop the wheel or slow the wheel down and then remove this section of clay. So I'm having the tool angle in so I can catch wherever that transition point is. And you don't have to have the wheel spinning to do this step. You can really just stop the wheel and then cut that section off. So once you have the top clean, the inside clean, the outside clean, the bottom clean, then you can slice it off. So I'm going to take my tool, thumbs pressing the wire tool down, and I'm going to pull towards myself. You can have the wheel stopped or you can have the wheel spinning slow at this point. And then before we remove it, we will clean off our hands. The trick to taking things off the wheel is clean, dry hands and a clean, semi-dry pot. So I'm going to dry my hands off. I know I should wear an apron. Um, we 
if you think about rolling your piece, you'll start to loosen up the edges of your piece that will start to reduce the surface area that's stuck to the wheel. So we're going to roll it this way and I will pop it off. Um, another way you can get things off the wheel if they are uh, kind of wide on the bottom or really wet or just sticking, then you can make a little puddle over at 12 o'clock, the far side of your wheel, and run that wire tool underneath so that it slides the water underneath and then you can slide your piece onto a hand or onto a wear board and that will remove the piece. So there you go. That's how you take a piece off the wheel. There are other ways too, but let's start with this one.